look the big compression driver had a baby <laughs> so uh, what you see now are two compression drivers this is the Artec 288 series and this is the Yamaha JA4201 let me just uh, flip it over okay see so this is uh, a frequency range is 800 hertz to 20 kilohertz so what does that mean so when you have a, a tweeter this is like a tweeter uh, then the usable frequency range for these things starts around like uh, 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz something like that and then goes it goes too high up and now for the compression driver uh, this range extends down to 800 hertz but you see that's the size difference that you need to uh, execute that sort of change to have that much wider bandwidth also there is not just the bandwidth increasing there is the efficiency increasing as well so something like uh, 89 db efficiency and now we are packing it up to uh, 106.7 db sensitivity per watt meter yeah so here the sensitivity is about 89 90 db per watt meter so there is like a tremendously uh, more efficient so it means that when we send the same signal to them this is reading out not just a wider bandwidth of data but at a much greater detail level so if you send one watt of information you are getting a lot of that one watt information translated into sound and here with the regular tweeter most of the information is getting lost as heat so when when you read the the rating here like rated power rating 20 watt so what does it mean for a compression driver to have a certain power rating it means that for 20 watt that's the rating that's specified for that 800 the lower range of the frequency spectrum so it usually means that when you have a, a second order uh, high pass filter at 800 hertz that's when the power rating is 20 watts because for compression drivers it's the excursion of the diaphragm that limits the power rating so basically what you can do uh, is that it can go either lower than 800 hertz uh, but if you lower the extension so it uh, then you have to lower the uh, power rating so you can use it let's say down to 600 hertz and it will be still fine but you have to uh, make sure that the peak power rating it gets is uh, something like 8 watts so maybe like a third or half or a third of what uh, the peak power rating for 800 hertz is and the same is true for high frequencies if you are using it let's say above 5 kilohertz or more then you can probably easily throw at it uh, 50 watts or more and you will not hurt the compression driver so so when you read about the ratings of compression drivers the uh, and then you say that there's one that's rated for 800 hertz and the big one is rated uh, actually uh, in most applications down to uh, 500 hertz but there are uh, big horns that you can add to it and it works down to 300 hertz so so why can it go to 300 why does it go to 800 and that's the power limitation so so the big guy this is rated for uh, 15 watts at 500 hertz with a second order crossover now uh, that crossover is there to limit the excursion of the low frequency so it's not just cuts the frequency but it uh, makes the motor the diaphragm travel much less for low frequencies and and when we want to use this for like 300 hertz duty 
then we also need to derate the power rating I haven't tried it, but if I would use it down to 300 Hz, then probably I would not feed more than 5 watt peak power to it at 300 Hz duty. And, uh, and then either a second or more, more likely a third order crossover would be used for that. And this is the same uh, thing true for this little baby. Uh, you could probably use it down to 300 Hertz uh, but uh, and and it won't damage it but then you would need maybe like one watt peak power or less not more and uh, and it could survive it and operate now the other different thing is that uh, would it give a, a good sound or not because we know that this big boy uh, can give out a uh, can drive down to 300 Hertz properly and why because it has a self resonant frequency of 260 Hertz and usually that's an indication for every loudspeaker driver to look at the self resonant frequency of the uh, driver cone or as in this case the diaphragm and uh, what you have a self resonant frequency that gives you an indication of the range of the lowest boundary where it will be comfortable working for. Usually, when you look at a woofer, like here, this, this big boy, the self-resonant frequency for this driver is uh, 26 Hz. So it means that uh, it's comfortable to go down to the region to be operated around uh, 26 Hz, 20 Hz, even a little below. Uh, not just a little, quite a bit below. Uh, and there, for this guy, having that self-resonant frequency at 260 Hz, yeah, so probably we could push it down to 200 Hz, and the diaphragm will be still happy to give sound at that uh, range, although we would have to derate the power rating ridiculously to a fraction of a watt more, most likely. I would say probably to half a watt and uh, you would say oh then it's totally useless at half a watt mm, actually it's not because for one watt this big boy puts out almost 114 db uh, sensitivity so it's above 100 percent efficiency this little bugger and and that seems like a physical impossibility how can a driver be more efficient than 100 percent and that's because we have a three inch diameter diaphragm and we have an opening that's much smaller than that so we are compressing down the output to a much smaller source and it adds directivity to it and also as you see this is not a globe source, so the sound is not radiating to every dimension in space. It's limited to half space only, so the sound is coming up like, like, like a mushroom cloud propagating from here. And that's why we have this seeming impossibility of having higher than 100% efficiency. So it means that it, with this efficiency, even if I throw one half watt, input power to this driver i am still getting uh how much about over 105 db sound pressure level just with half a watt so so that's why uh, for a home setting it's it's possible to use these drivers to very low frequencies although for 200 uh, cycles 200 hertz to use this big bugger you would need a tremendously big horn to support it and and that will not fit in a, in a living room so in a home setting using it either with a horn or without horn as i'm using it 500 hertz is the lowest realistic limitation and for this baby here we will look at what the self-resonant frequency of the driver is but it's much much above 260 hertz uh, as this has a two inch diaphragm much smaller diaphragm yet the two inch is like the, this big compared to that baby uh, dome that the tweeter has so uh, 
Next video will be about how to find out more about your compression driver and not just compression driver, any driver that you have. And we will be using, I will be introducing how to use the DATS V3 test system. This is also what uh, Stereophile uses, what John Atkinson uses to measure his uh, equipment. Uh, that's what he's been using for decades. Actually, the previous version of it, the version 2, this knows a little bit more, has higher resolution than version 2, but they are essentially the same thing. And it's really, really easy, really cheap. I'm not a salesman. I'm not advertising it to make uh, income for the company and profit. Uh, I'm not in touch with them anyway. I just, actually, I didn't even buy it. Nelly bought it for me two years ago for Christmas. So this was my Christmas gift. So <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, it's the most important tool if you want to be a loudspeakers. I, I recommend this 100%. And uh, let's continue from here. Please like, subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.